Hi guys, long time no speak. Um, right, where have I been? <laughs> um, and we're not going to talk too much until like, I'm filling up already. Mooney, come here, I need someone to record you little bugger. Right, um, I hope everyone had a nice Christmas. Mine was different this year because, um, as you can see, there's no Sasha. Um, she sadly passed away. Not, right, um, I will do another video on it if you really want me to, but I don't particularly want to do it. I did quit, um, YouTube and I thought I'm not going back to doing it. I don't want to go back to doing it because Sasha's been in from the start. I've had her since I was, oh, I think I was eight. She lived 16 years, but I just knew her time was coming. Anyway, she ended up having a mass on her windpipe so she couldn't breathe. And um, we were going to have a put-down, but she died just before we had a put-down. She was in the vets when she passed away. Anyway, I'm not talking into it. I'll do another video on that another day. Alfie's too busy trying to get into my shopping. So, after Sasha, I don't want... <laughs> sounds really horrible, but I don't want any more pets. Apart, I, apart from this fish hole, which obviously you can see by the title... Um, I'm setting up fish tanks, that's all I want. It's just me and Mooney now, oh, of course, and the rabbits. But um, I was so debating where to keep them guys because it sounds horrible, but I felt like I neglected them after Sasha. I just wanted to be me and Alfie. But um, yeah, <laughs> he's actually come round now. I didn't want to do a video because he's um, he's been quite bad over it. Um, it was such a shock. She's come, Sasha's back now. She, we've had her cremated and. Uh, she's currently in the living room, but here's Mooney to cheer everyone up. Hey, no, Mooney. Yes, he looks at Scratch. He seems much more affectionate now, whereas before he didn't want to bother. Did um, how thick your fur is. He's gonna have a shave soon, but it's too cold him to have a shave. Anyway, Sasha died um day after Halloween. So what would that make it? Um, <laughs> what do God? First of November. I can't. I, it was such a blur. Yeah, I was in work and I had the phone call for that saying I need to come down there. So me and my dad went down there, I left work early, went down there, but it was too late. Anyway, um, into a happier part of the note, I am setting up a fish tank again. My partner has got a fish tank. He's got my uh, two foot one. No, it's a foot one by foot wide, I think it is. Um, but he's decided not to have any more fish and I, I my bedroom's nearly back to normal now and I finally want to uh, start having fish again. I did, I'm not going to go into the, all this tropical fish and all this business but um, I've got my tank. I am set up with nothing yet. I'm going to hopefully do a video on them. I'm, I'm a newbie in mine guys with fish and that. I've had goldfish and that, you know what I mean? But I'm no pro with it so in my videos obviously they're not going to be care videos. They're just going to be on how do I do it. My mistakes I'm going to learn from it. If you guys can give me um, advice on it that'd be great. I know obviously i got to set the tank up first, let the filter, um, what's the right word for it, get the bacteria on it, I have been doing a lot of research, I can't think of the word of it now, anyway, um, I'm going to get straight into the hole, now the fish tank I've already got, I bought it second hand, it's um, 31 inches by 14 inches high, it's quite a tall fish tank, um, by, I think it's by 25 inches? Oh, I can't remember. But it's about three foot something. But you'll see it one day. It's currently still in my boot. Since the day I picked it up, it's still in my boot. Just because I can't lift it. And without Christmas and everything, I just didn't have a chance to do it. Anyway. Um, in this has the bag, I've just got um, a filter. I had this given to me off my partner because he used to have fish. Uh, before this little tank he got. And it's already cycled and... I don't know whether to restart the cycle on it. It's a big, it's a big filter. Um, it's got a cartridge on that side here. It's a fluffel, fluvel, something like that. Um, it's got cartridges in it and I'm going to get them washed. But that's still a little bit wet. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, I feel. Uh, yeah, it's a Christmas and look, he's wrecked it. You yeah, little bugger. Right. Oh, snowing, is it? He's snowing. Is it any of you guys had snow? I don't know. So anyway, this is my little bag. Um, the gravel's not shown in it. Sorry, Elf. The gravel's not shown in it. Um, just because that's still in my car. Oh! Oh, you coughing. Don't cough. Um, I want to show you. That's the kind of the surprise part of it. I want to show you 
the gravel and the tank together when everything's set up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go straight into the video. Alfie's gone bonkers on me. So I had all my stuff from Pets at Home, apart from a couple of things which I will show you. It's not loads, but it's a bit of bomb. So the first thing I got is this Biobe cleaner pump. I don't know if I bought the right one. Excuse my hands, they stink it because I just pumped my tyre up on my car and I want to come in and get this video done before anyone come home. And that's all the instructions on there. Look, Alfie, I can't focus the camera because you're licking me. And it's by that brand, Living Water. And I think I got you right because I'm really confused by it. So it's a cleaner pump, right? It's just like, um, you can use free water for changing water and is it for um, cleaning gravel? That's what I wanted to know. Uh, that cost me £10 on petrol, I do know it's the right part. I currently got a hanger, which is broken, which I just tucked her in here. Um, I got this from Petzerome. It's like a plant. Medium aquatic plant. It's um, together in one. I feel I can't record it because you're too busy licking it. I've got these ones before and I really like them. Um, you got to be careful with ones. Alf! <laughs> you tried putting it on the camera. Um, I've got these ones before, they're nice and soft, so they're okay for the fins, I find anyway. I don't have problems with it just yet. But there's a pink one on there, or purple. Alfie's licking it. Along with another plant, another five pounds from Petrom. I didn't buy these all in one day, but um, a couple of times. I got this, I quite like it. It's like um, I can't think what it's called. Is it? Oh, it's not Egyptian. What's the right word I'm looking for? Underwater world. Um, doesn't actually say that was only three pounds I think it was but I quite like it, it's a nice size it's the size of my hand and I don't know what kind of theme I'm going for I'm going to change it all the time most likely and I had that soy from the range I went blank then I then got this extension valves for four, five, six millilitre airline which I've really got those and I've picked up some more um, just because I'm going to have an air pump in here and I've got an oyster pump just so it circulates the water a bit better. That was only £1.50 from the range and that's the brand of it. Sorry. And if you want videos guys, it's going to have to be off my phone without editing because I just don't have the time to record, you know, record, edit, blah, blah. I have got two weeks off coming up now from work because I've had to take time off. Um, But I don't know if I'll get any videos done. Anyway, uh, then I got this classic aquatics. Um, that's what it says on there. Alfie, you're shaking me. And it's a cube. And I quite like the size of this. See? And really seem to like it as well. Got all these different plants on it, which I thought was really cool. I'm not going to more of the natural stuff. But I want quite a lot of um, places for fish to hide. Like, I'm going to get some algae eaters, etc. But I like all these. I don't want no bright colours like I used to have because they just get too dirty too easy. I don't like to clean it because bacteria is good in your tank. There's not too much of it. I then got this uh, Love Fish Tap Safe. It's basically uh, a conditioner. Well, this is what they said anyway in, in Pets Are Home. Um, it's a conditioner that is, makes your, your tap water safe for pets. It says it all day what it does. Removes harmful chlorine. Stupid phone. Neutralizes heavy metals and makes tap water safe for pets. Um, I've had one before and it works fine. Every time you water change, you uh, you use this. It's got a measuring cup with it. It's only four pound fifty, I think this was. I didn't tell you much that was, did I? I think it was five pound. Oh no, it was eight pounds. Eight pounds, sorry. Um, so I picked this up and it was four pound fifty. If you want to read the instructions on how much it goes in them, this is on the back. It's quite um. Thing. 